So, with the completed prototypes of the constant current load and the Arduino controlled charge and discharger, it's time to bring it together. If you've not seen the videos of these prototypes, check out the links in the video description below. Let's get started. Before we do get started, I wanted to recap the requirements I had in mind while redesigning the station. One, it should work unattended. It could run overnight or during the day while I'm at work. Two, it needed to be cost effective compared to an off the shelf solution. As a baseline and comparing against three Lito Carla chargers, this means I needed a solution for less than 60 pounds or 75 US dollars that should be able to process around 12 cells in a day. Three, everything I use should be readily available, cheap, and require only a soldering iron to put together. So this is what I've come up with. It's not the best cable management in the world, but it's working for me right now. On the back left, we have two five amp buck regulators set to output five volts at up to three amps maximum. Anything over three amps requires modification for extra cooling, which I didn't really want to do. These are connected to six TP4056 chargers. Three are connected to each regulator distributing the one amp required by each of the TP4056s across the two regulators. At the top, we have a 20 character by four line LCD display with a little 3D printed stand. It's connected to an Arduino Nano below it via I2C. The Arduino is also connected over to the TP4056 chargers to be able to check the state of charge like I've shown in previous prototypes. The Arduino is also connected over to the board on the bottom right, which is the dual dischargers. The new part lies in the board in the middle that's connecting the chargers and dischargers down to the cells. Let's take a closer look at what that's doing. You may have noticed that I only have six chargers and two dischargers, but eight batteries. The new board's job is to manage switching the chargers, then the dischargers across the cells one by one to test each of them in turn. The board consists of an MCP 23017, which is a I2C IO expander, which is connected off onto our Arduino. The expander's I.O. are connected out to 12 switching circuits. These consist of a base resistor, a transistor, a flyback diode, and a relay. There are two of these switching circuits. This means that across these, one cell is connected, allowing either a charger or discharger to be connected to a cell at any point in time. At a high level, what that means is the charges and discharges are wired like this. There are six charges coming in. And two discharges. Each cell has a switching circuit, two, three, four, five, six. And to that, one charger is connected to each. And then alternating, I have the discharges connected To those. So each of these now connects down to a cell
So as we progress through, the chargers are able to charge six batteries at once off one board. Adding a second board would then let the software control if charger one is already in use on this board, don't use it on the next one. And then the same happens with the dischargers. So once the two, first two cells are charged or when any one of these cells is charged, the software can detect and say, I know that discharger one will work for this cell, this cell and this cell. If it's already charged, I can then allocate that discharger to that cell. And if it's the other discharger, it can then allocate the other discharger to it. The reason why I wanted to try this was because chargers take longer to charge than the dischargers do take to discharge. So I wanted more chargers that could charge a number of batteries that would keep a number of discharges busy over a period of time. So in this design, six cells would be charged and then would move on to charge another six cells. By the time those next six cells are charged, the discharges will have finished char discharging the original cells. So let's end on a bit of a demo. The board is now powered up from a 12 volt uh, laptop power supply and it is connected to my computer for the time being because the uh, software isn't finished yet, I'm still debugging it. Uh, on the screen you can see there are six batteries shown. I have got it configured for six cells at the moment. It will have 12 eventually. Uh, it shows a W next to each one for waiting. It's waiting to be triggered. And you can see here there are there is a single cell loaded into the uh, battery holder. So if I now go and trigger this, you'll hear the relays fire. It connects the chargers to the first six cells and waits to see if it can actually start to charge. As you can see now, that first cell was actually charged when I put it in. So the charge status went to complete and it's now actually started to discharge that cell. But you can also see that cells two and four, which are also dependent on the first discharger, are waiting until they can get the discharger to test those cells. Being that there's no cell in that slot, they'll eventually run through and go straight to finished. So that's all I have for now. I hope this is useful and I will see you next time.